just another day in paradise. Today is going to be a doozy. One heck of a doozy. what you thought the new addition was to the Kodiak. And I was happy to see that a lot of people guessed and I saw, you know, new profile pictures that I've never seen before. And I got a lot of communication out of you. And that's good. That's what this channel needs. That's how I know what to film. Saying that, I'm sure a lot of your guys' opinions changed after you saw the size of this package. A lot of people originally thought it was either a light bar or a wench. Two very good guesses, I might add. So 3D Machines, Dalton, what is in this package? Well, we're gonna find out. That's right, a mess. I mean, spacers. A few of you did guess correctly. Jake the Toilet Snake, on the other hand, was way off. I did not buy handle grips. I wanted to buy... I wanted to buy something that would really spruce up the Kodiak. Actually, that's not what I was going for. What I actually was going for is a wider stance because these front tires, since I put wider tires on the front, you know, I actually took the bath tires, put them on the front. And after doing that, I found out that I had a lack of steering. Well, without it catching up on stuff. So as you can hear, the front tires are totally hitting. That's no good! Is that a diesel? So I'm going to install four things that I've never owned before on any vehicle and we're going to see how this quad stance reacts. This nut needs a 17 millimeter wrench, where these bolts need a 5 8 Speechless. Holy smokes, those tires pop out of the wheel wells. I know there are a lot of you guys out there that know exactly what spacers are, and I know there's a lot of people out there that don't know what spacers are at all. So basically what spacers are is a giant washer for your wheels. And in my situation, my front tires were hitting when I steered because I enlarged the front tires. So this gave it the clearance that it needed. And let's face it, it's gonna look a lot better. The stance, that is. And that's exactly why a lot of people do it. So for those that know what spacers are, I wanna know if there are any of you guys that have spacers, and if you do, what do you have spacers on? ATV, UTV, three-wheeler, truck, Jeep, 
a Bentley, Rolls Royce, I don't know. Leave it in the comment section below. So far the ride's been extremely fun and extremely successful. Since you guys smashed the hell out of the like button on that last video where I tried to climb this and we hit 15,000 likes, I'm going to try to attempt it again now that we have the front rack completed. That was the deal, and I'm going to keep my end of the promise. I think it's safe to say that I'm not getting off it. Just the math and the engineering behind it doesn't allow it to happen. Plus gravity and physics, science, things like that. That looks like one tasty donut. Where'd the leaves go? Looks like a UFO was up in here. These tires are amazing. My tires handle a little differently. predicament. Tree there. Let me begin by saying that the spacers treat the whole dynamic of the Kodiak totally different. The steering's weird and it's more difficult to get through tight trails, but the stands is much better. As you guys know, when I first originally got this thing, it was a heap. It has definitely transformed. Saying that, I had a lot of fun doing this project, you guys. I'm, I'm excited for the next one. I don't know if I want to work on the Motron, the KX. I don't know what I want to work on yet. But those are a couple things that I have to get to. Saying that, leave it in the comment section below. What do you want to see me work on next? I am here to fill your needs. So please let me know. I make project builds like this every day. I try to integrate as much life as I can along with the project. So saying that, I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. Until tomorrow's vlog, 3D Machines out, enjoy your day, get muddy, it's fun.